afternoon. Um, today I'd like to show you uh, a few of the things I've 3D printed um, for Locksport, and the reason why is we have the MyLock100 subs giveaway uh, special. And in his request, MyLock wants us to talk about an aha moment we had with Locksport. And my particular aha moment, um, well, I've had a lot of them, but one I'd like to talk about today is that how much 3D printing can be used to help Locksport. For instance, there's this nice bylock I got from DND. Didn't come with a normal key, it came with a 3D printed key. But it works just fine. I got myself a Medico Duracam. Did not come with any keys, so I printed some just fine. I got a um, lovely um, Apple Cam from eBay. No keys, so I printed some. And they work just fine. Also, 3D printed myself a nice cutaway lock holder for it. I have a say a little miniature mailbox style. Didn't have a stand, so I just designed one and printed it. Same thing with stands you can print for safe locks. These have been really nice. Um, you can find it on Thinkverse. I got myself a Moldac, and you can see a previous video about them where I also, again, design and 3D printed keys for it. Um, the keys for Multax are incredibly hard to come by, but 3D printed ones, not a problem. The other thing is, well, I need to hand cut some keys for an M-Heart, and M-Hearts have angled pins. They're at 20 degree angles. And so I printed myself a little 20 degree angle jig. You put the key in, and then you can cut 20 degree forward and back angles. Well, the reason my impetus for really entering this competition, besides supporting my lock, is that I love tiny locks. And Draper, my lock is giving out a Draper mini lock. And so I thought for this, I'd pick a mini lock, one of my mini locks, a bell with rotary foam lock that I have not yet actually picked. So here it is. You can see when it rotates, it rotates this little piece out so you can put it over the, rota the rotation ring of a rotary foam and then close it, and then you can no longer rotate your phone. Now, like with most of these mini locks, it's not particularly hard to pick, but still, I love them for whatever reason. The hardest part, of course, is usually tensioning them. Now, as you know, my, uh, my, um, drape vice is broken, so I'm having to pick this darn little thing in hand, which is harder than it seems because it's just so tiny. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was blocking the view so badly. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, now there's pin one. And pin two. And there we go. Nice on lock. It's got three pins, but they're really not too difficult to, to deal with. Well, thank you, and uh, my lock, congrats on 100, and here's hoping you get 100 more. Cheers.